Hey there, so in this video we are going to discuss about one more way of storing strings into the memory. Let's quickly get started. See if we just talk about C programming language. As we all know C++ is an extension of C language. So if we just talk about the C programming language then till C language if you wanted to store string into the memory you had only one option which is character arrays okay so character array is like a primitive way of storing the string it was available in c programming language as well and then c++ also carries that forward so in c++ if you want to store the strings you can do that with the help of character arrays and we have already seen how we can store the strings with the help of an character array now in this video we are going to discuss about a way of storing strings into the memory which is not present in c programming language but it is supported by c++ and it is very interesting and uh, it is going to give us lots of functionalities so let's quickly discuss about it see the way by which you can store the strings in c++ is called a string class okay now this c++ programming language provides us with one class called a string class now this class term is pretty new to us okay and in this video i'm not going to discuss about what is class and all that stuff because we have separate module for that we are going to discuss about object oriented functionalities of c++ in upcoming modules so at that time you will get good idea about what are the classes and uh, what is object oriented programming but right now just remember class is like one data type okay so string is like one data type which is provided by c++ it is kind of user defined data type so it is one of the data type which is provided by c++ language to us and uh, you will get m more idea about it in upcoming models okay whenever we will start with object oriented programming so let's see how we can use this string class see in order to use the string class you will need to include one header file and the name of the header file is string header file this is very important you will have to include this header file so you need to write hash include string okay now once you include the header file which is string header file uh, what you have to do is see usually in order to create variables what we do is we write data type followed by variable name okay so similarly string is a class so it is like a data type provided by c++ and in order to use it we are including this header file so you have to write name of this data type so it is string see it is like a data type okay but it is not primitive data type it is provided by the language as I am saying again and again you will get more idea about this whenever you will learn about classes okay but right now don't worry about it right now just focus on the syntax so you need to write string followed by you need to write name of the variable in which you want to store the string okay so you just need to give some variable name let's say I'll give the name as str and then I'll write is equal to and then I'll assign some string to it so let's say hello strings that's it okay so let's revise the syntax you need to write string space name of the string and you can assign some value to it so I'm writing is equal to and then string constant okay so in this way you can create a string using string class see if you are not using the namespace std if you are not writing this statement then in order to use the string class you will need to write std scope resolution string okay because this string class is defined inside the standard namespace now again we are going to have a separate model for the namespaces so I know this is kind of difficult to understand that why we are writing something like this but we have a separate model called as namespaces you can watch that model to understand more about the namespaces but remember string is a class and it is defined inside the standard namespace so in order to use it you will need to write std then colon 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 is called as scope resolution operator Again, we are going to discuss about this operator into the namespaces model and then you will need to write name of the class which is string, okay? But usually we write this line which is using namespace std. So you don't need to write std colon colon every time whenever you want to use string class, okay? So in this way, you can create multiple variables. Let's say I'll name this string as str1. You can create, let's say, another string and you can keep on doing this so it is very similar to creating a normal variable and I, I hope you can see how easy the syntax is okay so it is very simple very straightforward it is very similar to creating your normal variable so I'll just quickly revise what we have discussed so far see string is a class which is provided by C++ in order to use this string class you will need to include this header file which is string header file 
and then this string class is declared inside the standard namespace so either you will need to write this line using namespace std or if you're not writing this line then you will need to write std colon colon string because string class is defined inside the standard namespace and then the syntax is very simple you need to write string class and then followed by name of the string variable and then you have to write is equal to followed by some string constant if you want to initialize it so i hope you are very clear with the syntax let's quickly print these strings on the screen so i write c out str1 followed by endl similarly let's print str2 as well on the screen so i write c out str2 and now let's compile and execute this code so 04 string class dot cpp and let's execute it let's see whether everything works you can see uh, both the strings are getting printed on the screen so i hope you are clear with this approach for storing the strings into the memory see you in the next video